We were all very excited when we heard that Pope Francis had named Father Eusebio Kino venerable, now on his way to becoming a saint. Father Kino had such a tremendous impact on the community where we live. He was born on August the 10th, 1645 in Segno in Italy near Trent. And when as a young man, he became very sick to a point where he was worried that he might not survive. He prayed to St. Francis Xavier, the great missionary Jesuit, and he was cured. And so in 1665, he entered the seminary to become a Jesuit. He wanted to go to China as a missionary, but his superiors thought otherwise. And so they sent him to our area of Primaria Alta. He came here in 1687 and as a missionary was here for 24 years, traveling almost 19,000 miles and establishing 24 missions. His impact was immense. He was a very talented man. He was a mathematician. He was an astronomer. He was a cartographer, one who created the early maps of our area. He was a rancher. He was a farmer. He was an architect and a, an explorer, a man of incredible talent. But most especially, he wanted to bring to the native peoples here the Lord Jesus Christ. And he did it in so respectful a way to the people who lived here. He once said to Francis Xavier Saeta, who was also a missionary, a fellow companion to Father Kino, who was martyred, what he had to do to be a good missionary. He had to have a deep love of God. He had to be willing to work hard because it's not easy to be a missionary. You have to be focused, kind of like the archer is focused on the target. You had to preach Christ, you had to teach Christ, you had to witness Christ. And that's what Father Eusebio Kino did. And he also told Francis Xavier Saeta, you have to have patience and tolerance because you have to come to know the people and understand them, to know their needs. You have to sit down with them, sit on a rock, as it were, he would say, to listen to the people, to learn what their needs were, what their struggles were. Father Kino, as you know, has his name on many things here in Tucson. Kino Boulevard, Kino Sports Complex. Uh, so many things, and his statue is, of course, in Washington at the Congress one of the two statues representing the state of Arizona. He is a man that all of us have a great deal of pride for what he did for the faith here in our region. Today, the Pascoyaki, the Tonagam are almost 95 or plus percent Catholic because of the work of Father Kino, who respected the people, who was not treating them in a demeaning way, but in a respectful and kind and loving way. We hope someday that Father Kino will be a saint. Now we have to wait for just a miracle or two. But what a joy it will be when we learn that Father Eusebio Kino, the Padre on horseback, is now a saint. Let's pray to Father Kino for a miracle.